Welcome to the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage, where rude mechanicals do magic. Hello, I'm Bronze Age, Director of the Secret Underground Laboratory Recovery and Salvage. And today we're at the lighting bench with a, uh, a very unique piece of artistic lighting. This is actually a rear screen projector. And uh, it even had some kind of animation to it. But I couldn't test that out because the cord was cut off when we got it. But in here, it's got a real simple light fixture. And when I first saw this, I thought it might have been occupied Japan or even occupied Germany. On the little print here, it says copyright 1946 by A.B. Leach, whoever that is. But on the inside lid here, it reveals that it's protected by copyrights and patents of the United States. It gives a bunch of numbers, including the Dominion of Can Canada patents, and it's manufactured by the Econolite Corporation of Los Angeles, California. And uh, as far as econo lights, economy light fixtures, this is about as economic as it gets. The embossed cardboard here, top and bottom, snaps together, held together with uh, staples. Just about as cheap as you could possibly get for the effect they're trying to make. This is a simple job, but a delicate one don't want to break any of this cardboard or scratch up the uh, print on the front. And with this kind of job, since the cord has to go through the case of the lamp, we have to get everything on here in exactly the right order. It's like a string of beads. This little knot right here goes below the socket and it's a safety feature in case someone were to catch the cord on their feet. That knot keeps the cord from pulling loose from the screws and touching the steel. And in the case of this lamp, Touching the steel is not such a great hazard because there's not much of it and it's not touching anything on the outside. What you could have would be electrical cord with bare wires hot 
dancing around on the floor. Someone goes to pick it up and they get shocked. That's the way it's going to go back in. Put this large washer on here. A little extra reinforcement. The reason the customer had to bring this in is because the plug fell apart and it started sparking, which is never good. And I think the reason for that is this lamp never had a switch. So to turn it on and off, all you could do was unplug it. And we're going to relieve that problem by installing a cord switch. This is Bronze Age, director of the Secret Underground Laboratory recovery and salvage, reminding you that no matter what your taste in lighting, it's we're here to serve your needs. Thank you very much. We'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe this video and take a look at all our other videos. Most of them are not exactly like this.